to start getting into the bones of the assignment. Like I told you yesterday, right? We have to, you have the foundation of the goals that you want to work on, your action plan. But I have to give you something to fight against those things that have held you back in the past, which are your fears, your habits, and the people who are in your life. So before we get into that, because I know some of you may have gone through a lot of emotions yesterday because you're probably like, dang, this is what has held me back before? Dang. Oof. When you look at the little simple things, right? Like fear of success or fear of failure, like why am I fearful of these things, right? Or why do I keep doing myself when doing this to myself when you start thinking about the habits that you have? Why do you keep doing it to yourself over and over? But I don't want you to beat yourself up about it. Because today, that's not what we're here for. We're not about to beat ourselves up about the things that have held us back in the past. Right? Because there are lessons that we all have to learn from. There are things that we all have to go through. You're not alone. Understand that. You're not the only person who has gone through all of this stuff. But the difference between you and those who have made it to the other side is they pushed it right they address what those things that were holding them back were and they fought through it to get to the other side so you are about to fight through it to get to the other side because you're going to actually have a plan of action to deal with those things that are holding you back right you don't just have a plan of action for your goals I'm sorry I'm nasal because I'm like sick but it's okay because I'm see I'm fighting through this because I'm gonna get to the other side but you also have a plan of action to address those things that have held you back, right? Because I'm, I'm working on the whole person. I'm not just working on those little things that you said you want to work on, right? So today we're talking about step six, which is your foundation for success. And that involves addressing those things that have held you back before. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to talk about those fears that you wrote down yesterday. Sorry, because you've learned those fears from somewhere, right? So the first thing that I want you to do when it comes to those fears is actually identify where did you learn that fear? You learned it from somewhere. You might have learned it specifically from someone, but you've learned that fear from somewhere. So where do you get that fear? Is it because of the environment that you grew up in? Or is it because you've watched somebody else fail trying to do the same thing that you want to do and you kind of have this... Mm, I've seen somebody else feel doing it, so I don't, I don't want to do that because I don't want to be where they are. I don't want to be a failure. I don't want everybody to look at me like, you know what, she didn't do what she said she was going to do. So where did you learn that behavior? That's what I want you to write down. The first thing I want you to write down is where did you learn that behavior? And then I want you to answer this question. Do you want to feel that fear forever? Do you want to be in living in this fear forever? Because that, that's a real question that you need to answer. Do you want to continue to have the fear, right? And some of a lot of you probably were saying, no, I don't want to continue to have the fear, right? But you're not doing anything about it. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to answer the question, do you really want to lose this fear? And if you do, then you're going to do something about it. So the next question I want you to answer is, how can you bring this fear into context so that you can move forward with your goals and your life? Especially if this fear is from somebody who's in your life who you've learned it from. I need you to um, probably go speak to that person. Maybe that's how you need to address your fear. Go speak to the person how, that you've learned this fear from. Because maybe that will help you to address the fear. Or if it's something like, um, like you've never seen anybody do it before. So you have this fear of failure where... I've never seen anybody do it, so I, I or the, that's the fear of the unknown, I'm sorry. You have this fear of the unknown one. I've never seen anybody in my life around me who has done it. So you're just fearful that, you know, I don't know what to do, right? So that's where you get information. You figure out how to do it, but from other people who have done it, and they don't have to be people who were in your circle. So whatever the fears are that you wrote down yesterday, I need you to address them. One, first by this figuring out where you got it from, like at what age it, or at what age or from what person did you learn this fear? Because when we were kids, right, you had no fears. Like, I'm looking at my kids now and they have no fears. Like, I swear, I keep saying my kids are going to be daredevils. Like, the stuff that these kids do on bikes. My son is only like one. He just turned one. If you see this little boy on um, the little push bikes where you push the button and the bike moves, 
if you see this boy on this bike like trying to stand up while he's still pushing the button like i say my kids are like daredevils if they become daredevils i wouldn't be surprised like his sister does the same thing she'll put her feet up and then pushes the button going riding on this bike right they have no fear so as kids we had no fears either so i i can imagine that that's the way we were when we were kids right you had no fears so at what point did you learn this fear where did you learn to be fearful of things right at what point did you pick up on these fears that you have or who did you learn it from because you probably learned it from somebody then answer or address the question do i really want to lose this fear because if you do guess what you're going to do you're going to work and push through it and the next thing i want you to do is understand answer the question how can you bring the fear into contact so that you can continue to work on your goals and your action plan because this year the year that you're in now that those fears aren't going to hold you back anymore. So part of it might be like going and watching, because I'm, I'm probably sure there are like a million YouTube videos on how to address fear X, Y, Z. And I'm going to do some myself, so there will be some in my library and some I'll link below. But I need you to figure out the fears that you have and address them head on. Right? So you should ask the question. And then about habits, right? So the next building block, that was building block number one, facing your fears, right? So building block. remember what I said I was going to do for this bad habit so I'm going to go back and look down at what I wrote right so that's why I told you make sure you have a brand new workbook or have the workbook for the assignment because I need you to go you might have to go back and pull it out what did I say I was going to do for this bad habit again oh yeah this is what I said I was going to do right because it's not going to happen overnight it's going to take some time for you to start getting into the flow of these new habits that we're going to help us that will help us to get towards our goals and our action plan that we said we want in this new year Okay, so the last thing I want you to do is pick your people. That's your building. That was building block number two. Create new habits. Your building block number three is pick your people. So you have the people in your life who might give you the negative self-talk or they might give you the safety talk because they just want you to be safe and they don't want you to go into any space where you may, I would say, fail um, because that's what they think is going to happen. They automatically assume that you're going to fail because it's something that they've never done or it's something that they've never seen anybody else in their lives accomplish and something that they've never tried. So they automatically assume that you're going to fail. So building block number three, I want you to pick your people. Now, this is a question that I want you to answer. My shoulder to cry on is blank. Who is that person that you call when you're just tired and you can't take it anymore and you don't want to do these goals anymore and you just want to just roll up? let it all out who is the person that you call when you're getting ready to cry right um next my biggest supporter is blank who is that person right and those of you have the book it says when i need motivation and when i doubt myself and my abilities this is the person that i'm going to call who is that person that's your biggest supporter i want you to write that person's name down and also, I want you to share your goals with them after you finish completing your goals and completing the exercise. I want you to share your goals with them. 
because I want them to understand what it is that you're going through. And when you start feeling down and you start feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't make it, I want the person to understand the space that you're in. Right, So I need you to share your goals with them. And then when you come to a point where you just feel unmotivated or you can't do it anymore, this is the person that I need you to call. Because that person is going to probably give you the motivational kick in the butt that you need to continue to work on your goals. So whoever that person is for you, I need you to write that person's name down. Next, my role models are blank. Now for this one, I give you the space to go into your virtual role models. Like... I'm going to tell you, you might hear me say it in my videos sometimes, I have some virtual BFFs and I have some virtual role models, right? So my virtual role model, one of them is Shonda Rhimes. I love Shonda Rhimes. Um, if you know who Shonda Rhimes is, she's the one who came up with Scandal, um, How to Get Away with Murder, Private Practice. I can't remember she had a part in that too. And then Grey's Anatomy. I, I, I still watch Grey's Anatomy to this day, y'all. Like I love Shonda Rhimes and her work, right? So she's one of my virtual role models because I don't know her in real life. Um, so if your virtual role model is somebody who you might not know in real life, um, it's okay to write down that person's name. But what I want you to do for your, if you have virtual role models, even if it's somebody who's no longer here, right? Um, like maybe MLK is a virtual role model for you and Malcolm X. Those people aren't around anymore. But what I want you to do in those times when you need inspiration or you feel stuck, you can either go find books that they've written, right? Or go find videos that are out there on these people. Like, I've read Sean Rhymes' book, um, Year of Yes. Like, I've read that book back to front. I probably need to go read it again. Like, or I've watched her videos that are, are out there on YouTube. Like, her speech where she did at um, the graduating class. I don't remember which. Was I don't remember. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Where was she graduated from, right? Like, I watched that video before of the speech that she gave to the graduating class of wherever. Um, but... Your virtual role models, that's that's what they're there for. When you get stuck, when you need inspiration, I just need you to go find like a video of them online. If your role models are virtual, like mine's are. If you're not, if your role model are real people who are in your life, then this is a time when you call them or you go talk to them about things that you're going through at the moment, right? So that's your building block number three. Now, remember yesterday I said um, I gave you a space to write other because the things that are holding you back may not fall in the category of fear or habits or people they might fall into an other category so your fourth building block for success these are the things that I need you to answer because I don't I don't know exactly what your other things are but these questions might help you address them right so the first question I want you to answer is how can I eliminate this blocker or stopper in my life how can I eliminate it the second question I want you to answer is where can I find more information on how to eliminate this thing from my life where can you find more information about it? And then the third question I want you to answer, and this is very important, does this bother me enough to give it any additional thought? Like, does it really bother you that much? Whatever this other thing is, does it bother you that much where you need to go spend time on it, right? Because some things might not bother you that much at all. It might have stopped you from doing things in the past, but with all the other things that you have working for you, like the people who you're going to call when you need support, like the new habits you're going to start working on as you, the bad habits start creeping up, like the new, the things that you're going to do to address your fears, these other things are like, yeah, that's not going to stop me this time. Like it might not be so much that big of a deal, right? So if it's not that big of a deal, it's probably something that we don't even need to spend any time on. But if it is something that you need to spend time on, then I need you to figure out a way to address them. So you need to answer the question, how can I address this stopper blocker, this thing that has held me back from accomplishing my goals in the past? If it's that big enough of a deal where you need to address it, I need you to answer those questions and how you can get rid of it or eliminate it from your life, right? So that's a lot that I gave you for... Um, step number six that we're working on your foundation for success so i just want to run through everything real quick for those of you who don't have the workbook and can go back and like read like the steps right so for those of you who don't have the workbook this is your assignment for today number one i need you to do your building block number one what are the face your fears when did you learn that fear or at what age or from what person in your life Two, do you want to have the fear forever? I need you to answer the question. And then I need you to answer, how can you bring the fear into context so that you can move forward with your goals and your life? That's step one. So I need you to do that for all the fears that you have. That's your building block number one. Building block number two, 
create new habits. So for all those old habits that you wrote down yesterday, I need you to write new habits. These are the new habits that you are going to use to address all these old habits that have been holding you back in the past. So I need you to write down a list of new habits that you're going to use to combat those, right? So that's step number two. Step number three, I want you to pick your people. Now, for those of you, especially who have the book, you've picked your people specifically for each of your goals. Like you've picked a specific person, but I also want you to answer this one and answer these questions. My shoulder to cry on is X. Fill in the blank. Who is your shoulder to cry on? This is the person that you call when times get tough and you really feel like giving up. Number two, my biggest supporter is X. I call this person when I need motivation, when I doubt myself and my abilities. This is a person who I'm going to call, right? And number three, my role models are X. And these can be virtual role models or real people. These are the things, these are the people who I look to when I need inspiration or when I feel stuck. You can go find a book that they've written, go find videos that they're in if they're real role models in your life and you can actually call them up. It's probably the time to call them up and tell them, hey, this is what I'm going through right now. I kind of feel stuck. And you help me to get to my next level. So that's the assignment for today. Create your building blocks. And then for those of you who actually have other things that um, were holding you back, I need you to address it and decide, you know, is it big enough? Is it really a problem where I need to actually give this some time to think about how I'm going to address them? And if it's not, then just squash it, right? If you think that everything else is going to help you get past it, then don't take the time, don't waste the time on it. But if it is something that you feel like is going to still hold you back, I need you to figure out a way to eliminate that blocker or stopper from your life. Because there's, they're no longer going to hold you back from the goals that you want. Now, we're almost done, you guys. Like, I know you feel like I gave you a whole lot of work to do. But understand that. If you like want these big, juicy, ambitious goals, like, it's work. It's not nothing about that is easy nothing about working towards the thing that you really want is easy don't believe anybody that tells you that it is easy right none of it is easy and a lot of people who think like some people are like overnight successes overnight success means that they've probably been working behind the scenes for like five or more years working towards this thing like nobody came up overnight and were automatically like in this big place of position or in this big pace where they they just completed this big goal they've been working on that thing behind the scenes for who knows how long and you're just not hearing about the person right so today's step i want you to actually go through it and make sure that you complete them we are we are almost through you guys so i just want you to take the time and make sure you finish all these assignments and then if you have finished everything i'm going to have two bonuses for you so continue to watch the videos, continue to um, do the work, and I will come back with two bonuses for you because you guys have you guys have done the work, right? This is the last step. So I'm going to have two bonuses for you after this video. So make sure that you do the work from today's lesson, and then I'll come back with two more videos just because you guys were so awesome when you guys did the work, okay?